Alright. <laughs> now, this might be really hard, but it'll be fun if I can finally do it. I wonder whether or not I should go for rerolling. Oh, wait, my music. We only turn on the music for the jam in the last boss. Alright. Early fire, early uh, sigil sacrifice. Okay, interesting. So now, um... They changed it so you can now sacrifice dams if they have the um, triple blood. So I could try and fuse a uh, dam builder onto black goat, maybe. It would be interesting, but I actually don't have that many cards that I can play with it just yet. So might not be the best combo. Aside from that, I could do like cat plus black goat. Hmm. I'm always a big fan of Cuckoo. Okay, I need to get out of the mindset of the 120 point runs I was doing where was, everything was easy. I need to... No memes though. I need to try hard this. So, uh... Okay, what would be the strongest here? I wonder if Cuckoo plus Beaver would be that good. It does block off a lot of things. It also means that I don't guarantee my Black Goat, which is what this deck is all about. So I guess I won't take Cuckoo. Or if I do, I would instantly put it on something else, like the Bell thing. Oh, this is such a hard choice. I think I'll take Beaver and this. And I can make some interesting combos or choices with this. So I guess I go for the sacrifice early. And I probably use my items to go for that. Or I go for the fire. And in the sacrifice... Do I just try out the new memes with the black goat and the beaver? I think that'd be, that'd be pretty fun. So I'll, I'll try it interesting to say the least or maybe I should mole, get rid of mole man first so I always draw black goat I think this is more fun all right time for a super black goat now if I were to get a fire I'd be buffing the moose buck I guess Last card. It's not ideal. Wait, I want to use up my items anyway, so I can just do this and this. Uh, and then play this at the very side. And I guess it doesn't matter what I draw, I just win this turn. Gotta go for the items. This thing, maybe I can get a good card here. Please not gold, I don't actually want the gold. Wow, I'll be darned, it's gold. Okay, more items up ahead, so if I don't get good things here, I can reroll up there. I can look for fan bleach, I guess. Uh, not that lucky. Take the black goat. I guess I'll go for items again then. Not the starting hand I want. I'll use this. I'll use up my other item too and roll for better ones. My 
Wait, how many? I have three. Oh, I can get more overkill damage. Okay, these are not very good. Let's look at the mud turtle. Okay, a fire up ahead. Problem is, I don't have a way for it through the grizzlies. Even if I grab this, it won't help me through the grizzlies. What do I need? I really need. I can hope for bleach. Never bleach. I guess pliers. Two fires. So if I can farm four overkill damage here and then buy the knife and then take two fires, then maybe I'm in an alright spot. Otherwise, I'm in a bit of danger. Oh boy, my pelts can't even block anything here. Next turn I can play this though. Of course it blocks off the best spot for this actually. Uh, I take one more damage, so I still live. Uh, and then... I don't even remember which direction they're going, but this should work out. I take one and then I'll be able to play cards that actually uh, deal damage. So... Uh, yeah, I need to farm four overkill somehow. me at five and I'll go down to minus two and then another four will put me at plus two then zero then one away so that's actually pretty good the way it all lines up I just need to draw a little bit more damage soon okay moose buck So I can hit here and then takes one and then hit again and then play the moose buck and that will be uh, six overkill I think. Oh wait no this blocks one so now it actually will just kill it here. That's not good. Oh wait, no, I can put down three damage though, so it'll always be three overkill. And then I can play Mud Turtle for more. So you play this, play the goat, sacrifice it for Moose, sacrifice that for the Mud Turtle. Plenty of overkill damage. And uh, I guess between the pliers and the fan, uh, I don't need the fan because I'm gonna have the knife, so I'll want the one more damage maybe, so we just use this. Alright, nice. Did I only- I only had one more than I needed. I didn't think I was cutting it that close. Alright, fires? Okay, attack fire. Well, I don't want to get rid of a card, right? I just hope to get Moose Buck to 5 damage to become a one-shot. So, I hope I win the 50-50 and get another uh, fire up ahead. I mean, another attack fire up ahead. Even if I don't, it's okay. But... Oh, well, health fire. Uh, I want to get rid of the mole now. Ah, uh, that's not good. Well, it's the angler, so it shouldn't be too hard. But it means that I, I can't win without using the knife. It could have maybe been some world where I could... Actually, no, I would need like triple buff on the moose buck, I guess. So this is fine. Okay, what's not fine is this draw. Uh, this, and then I take two more. Mud turtle is not what I'm looking for.
I need to be able to play something to do damage. I can buy one more turn if I use pliers, but... Uh, I guess that means I have to double draw a squirrel. Oh no, even if I do, I... He's hooking the next turn. Wait, no. Alright, we're, uh, we're gonna redo this fight a bit. This is like... Oh, this is so bad. My hand is so bad. I just have to only draw squirrels, I think. And then even when I... I have to make him hook a pelt and not a squirrel. That was my mistake. I need the squirrels because all my stuff is way too expensive and I'm never going to be drawing my black goat. So... Out here. Take two damage. Now I can play the moose. <laughs> Taking bonus damage, but it doesn't matter. Draw a squirrel for him to hook. I guess it doesn't really matter where... I don't need to get rid of that thing, so... It allows me to stall for a little bit longer. Although I guess I don't really need to stall. It's like hoping I could save pliers, maybe? I'm not sure what in my deck would allow me to save the pliers. Oh, he still hooked the squirrel. Oh no, he just doesn't hook. That's not that good for me. Okay, well, I stall for a few more turns uh, unintentionally, but it's fine. This next turn, I'll deal four and then take three, and then I'll finally win on the next one. So I can draw whatever, and it doesn't matter. There's the black coat, finally. Yeah, I don't think there was something in my deck that would allow me to save my items. Hey, what's my last card? Pelt. Yeah, I'll just use this. Uh. All right, made it through Act One. Or map one or whatever. And oh, I don't even get rares anymore. It's so sad. Uh, I guess I just take the non one zero cost and try and get rid of the mole. And then I can always draw black goat. Because not drawing black goat is the main reason why I'm like running to trouble right now. Okay, I see my colleges up ahead. So if I can get a copy of Moose Buck or Wolf and turn them into win conditions. I could also go down the right side for an item. If I go there, I can guarantee a remove on the mole. I think that's the most important thing. Okay, interesting. I could double up my mud turtle. If I don't, I'm kind of forced to take a copy of a card, which is not terrible, I guess. I can get another black goat, which is nice. Uh, I guess magpie is always pretty strong. I don't have a good sigil combo to put with the beaver, so 
I won't go for it. I'll go for the magpie. Oh yeah, wait, I had a golden pelt. I get a rare card. It's gotta be Ouroboros, right? That'll turn into a carry for me. Uh, I guess right now I can't really farm it up very easily, but... Uh, the other options, I'm never taking them, right? So hopefully I can eventually farm it up. Alright, Mole, get out of my deck. And maybe I get a copy of something up ahead so that I don't have to fuse. Or so that I can actually fuse something on my colleges instead of getting a copy. Although a copy of Black Goat would also not be too bad. And now I can actually do a very exciting combo. I can do this. Play Magpie. Draw... Oh, I could draw Ouroboros. Yeah, I guess that's better than anything else that I would do here. And like, start farming Ouroboros. Or I guess I can't really that well. Because I need to play him and then sacrifice him off, and then play him again. Do this, I'll win. I'll take one, two damage. Or no, this will they'll both block. Because it's not airborne yet. So it's fine like this, and then I can get at least like one tick. This. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you if I sacked Ouroboros, then the dam, then I can get that. Um is there a way for me to I was wondering if I get another farm of it, but I think that's a bit ambitious. Or I could just go and hit this again and I'll take two damage. That's actually fine. Uh, in that case, I'll just keep drawing squirrels. This is maybe a bit greedy, but... Wait, I forget this thing attacks. Okay, maybe this is too greedy. Wait a minute, I take one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, this was too greedy, huh? Well, if I do this one, two, it actually won't hit, so I'll only take three. So it's fine to end here. Main problem is this like next turn is uh scary, huh? I can't block everything. Is there anything I can draw? I guess that's not it. Okay, well, let's not um let's not int trying to get greedy with the Ouroboros. I'll take the one uh one one buff to it. Also I forgot to say, hey uh Rubio Rubio, welcome to the stream. Alright, I'll just take my broken combo and do this. Uh, Boros. I want to push that? No. Okay, I do this. Okay, things actually line up kind of nicely, although my moose buck will die off. Or no, no, no. Hit this, it'll take one and. Oh, wait, no, because the annoying sigil, it will die. Unless I play Ouroboros in the way. If 
I can sacrifice it now. Okay, nice. Okay, so I managed to farm it in the end. I suppose they let the dynasty sacrifice, but last time they tried they couldn't, but the blood sigil makes it now. Yeah, I saw in the um the latest patch notes that they made it so triple blood uh, with the dam is actually a nice combo. Been getting good value from it. Let's see. Uh, I guess I can hope for a moose buck copy. Either that or like one of these copies. Okay, moose buck copy. Now it becomes a one shot. That's pretty nice. All right, seven damage moose buck. Let's go. Boom. Another mycologist up ahead. I can't even fuse anything. Well, if I can get a copy of a black goat, then it's still pretty good for me. Alright, look at this. Every time I can if I draw the black goat and the magpie like this, I just get a crazy combo like this. Boom. Or Boros. I can do this and then kill it off. And then play it again. Nice. That was a pretty solid turn one. And now 4-4 four, four Ouroboros. Getting pretty strong. If in in like the best possible world, if I can copy or like if I can get a second black goat, then put the magpie onto the goat, and then fuse my goats together and guarantee that I always draw it, then I would actually have the perfect turn one and I can play three cards of my choice. But I mean that takes a lot of setup here. And I need to start off with a black goat, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> that base spin. Uh, I guess it, it would be the magpie here, and I just put more uh, magpie things. Because the thing is, I'm guaranteed to draw the um, to draw the black goat in my starting hand, so I just need more ways to draw my cards that are good. Or essentially, my one-shot moose buck, I guess. So, oh, a copy up here. Now that could be exciting. It could also be bad, but <laughs> I think maybe I would just copy like my moose buck or something. Or like another magpie. Well, I start off with it, so no problems here. I guess I could technically stall for Orboros, but now that I have a one-shot already, I don't need to. 1428 in this buck. <laughs> the dream. Okay, I guess I'll go for seeing what uh, picking the card that I want. These are not that good. However, I could put Pronghorn onto the moose buck. Make it super crazy. I guess that's the best choice here. Okay, items. Let's see. Give me something good. Uh, it's not that good. I guess what I'd lack the most is actually squirrels out of all these. Okay, bleach. Wait. Or the possum. I think there's an argument for the possum. Or maybe just use the bleach in the phase one and then just block up for a couple turns with the moose buck and that would be my win condition. Possum would help me to block. How much would I struggle in the first phase whether or not I would need bleach? Uh, I'll take the possum actually. Okay, now, now I need to figure out what I copy here. I will paint just like the master. So, exciting options here. Uh, well, painting a magpie at this point is overkill. Just having three of them. Because the point of it is to basically just draw my moose buck. So, in that case, painting the moose buck would be one of the best. 5-5 five, five, aura or block two turns if you get there. That's true. Oh wait, you can't paint in Ouroboros? Is that how it works? I actually didn't know that. Because I never really get them anymore after I stopped getting rares. Well, basically, the choices then becomes either the Black Goat, which could lose the Sigil, which is bad for me. Or like it could turn into something annoying. Uh, so I'll just copy the Moose Buck. 
I think that's pretty nice. And that also means that uh, if I like am forced to like play this early on and it like dies <laughs> when 814 and it dies to like the traps, then I'll still have another one and it won't be a big deal. Stinky. Well, good thing I have a ton of high attack, so it won't be a big deal. Thorns could have been more annoying. Okay, there's the combo. Not with a magpie, but... Uh, it's kind of annoying that they also <laughs> get the uh, annoying sigil, so I can't, like, place it and, like, have a dam here just to save for later. But yeah, Orbos would be 5-5 five five now, so... Well, everything's gonna die. So, I could play Orbos. if there's a better way to do things. This dam is just going to die and be kind of wasted. But it does block one damage. I don't know how relevant that is. I could just buff up the Ouroboros. Right? Yeah, I could just sack these two, play that, sack that, and play the Ouroboros here, and I'll take one more damage. That's fine. I could also use a Squirrel. I don't really want to. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, if I eventually get the moose buck, I think it's better to put it here. I'm not sure if it matters. Oh, because of the way the order works, it was maybe. Well, this should be fine. Just end here, take one damage. Poor Pronghorn can't attack anything. Okay, Wolf Pelt can block, and I just kill off the Horbros again. Oh, that's not good. I'm taking one damage. actually kind of annoying. Yeah, maybe I just play the wolf here then. It doesn't overkill. Um, if you hit traps, it doesn't overkill if your card dies. It only works with um, bifurcated. Uh, I can just win. Oh, wait, no, I need one more damage. Okay, there's magpie, so I can just skip a couple turns. Yeah, if the, if the trap, like, I think the way the overkill works is you hit the thing, and then first it'll calculate this, and then after, if your card dies or not, then the attack will go through or not go through. Uh, so I wanted a few more turns to draw my cards. Uh, I guess using the first impossible would block one place for two turns. So I just need to block... I need to block for two turn, two more, so I need four cards to block with. Can I stall for that long? I guess it'll be fine. I'm only taking one damage. I'll draw more squirrels. Play these two to play magpie, and I don't know what I draw though. Oh, yeah, super moose buck, that's what I would draw. 
Or, okay, wait, no, Mud Turtle blocks for two turns. And then, I would also still need a Moose Buck, so I'll draw one. Oh yeah, wait, I get another Pelt. And well, I only get two more turns to draw, so... I guess it'd be like squirrel squirrel and maybe use this one and try and draw a card. Or I can sack the wolf and get buy more turns. I guess that's the plan. I wonder how many cards he plays. Can I play more? I can do this. Or Boros to die. Is he playing no more cards, finally? I am kind of running out of uh, squirrels and stuff. So, two squirrels to play Ouroboros, and then three more to play Moosebuck. I don't think I have that many left. Yeah, only four squirrels. Uh, but I can... Uh, I can use that squirrel. Will I need to though? So I do this. I guess they're both kind of the same, so. This here. Then be possum, pelt, pelt. And that blocks for one turn. And then. Wait a minute. Oh, hey. Welcome back, uh, High King of All Horses. What are we waiting a minute for? <laughs> Oreo with auto summon. That would be exciting. I think it'd be... <laughs> it'd be alright, but eventually it would stop dying because it gets too strong, right? But it would be free. Okay, so I need to think about this. Um... If I have Pelt, I don't know, Possum, and I play the two squirrels for Mud Turtle, Possum, those block for two turns, then I can go Pelt, Pelt. So I won't even play the Moose Buck, and I can block all, and I can save the squirrel, which is pretty nice. Okay. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I could have drawn a better card, I think. What else did I have in my deck? I don't even know. Oh, I had another pelt. Uh, I don't think I could have saved the possum though, so this is fine. Right. Is there? I had a magpie. And the moose buck. All right, there we go. All right, that's pretty nice. That was what map two. All right, one more map, and then uh, the end. Okay, direwolf. I guess I put out a moose buck, and then I have a way to turn one win. Moose buck or Ouroboros. I guess it'd be Ouroboros. I have three win conditions and two magpies. I always take this, uh, but the thing is, I also want to sack my magpies onto something, possibly. So I just want to have as many sacrifices as possible, and sadly I don't see a single one at the very start of this. Alright, I want to get bones. Alright, bones. Okay, I remove a card up ahead, so I would probably remove like, one of these weaker cards. Pronghorn, because I already have this thing which I'd give onto something, and like so many things I want to sacrifice. Fire can help me to remove a card. Is it better than an item? I guess it's decent. It can also turn one of my cards into another one shot if possible. Attack fire? Okay, attack fire. I might buff the pronghorn. If it dies, it dies. If it doesn't, then it becomes another one-shot. 
that's decent. I could also do the same for the Dire Wolf, but I like Double Strike more than the Pronghorns. So we'll, we'll double buff this. It doesn't die. Oh well, you know, 6 damage, I'll take it. Then I can go over here, trade in my Pelt. <laughs> he was worthy. Okay, Magpie Goat at the start, that's nice. Boom. And, uh... Grab Ouroboros at this point, I guess? I suppose it doesn't really matter which one. Alright. Things are looking pretty good for this deck. No problem with damage in this run, yeah. I just need to get my consistency a little better to draw my one-shots, which I have plenty of. I guess I don't want to go there, so I go here and then left. All this damage pouring in. Let's see, uh... Cockroach. Uh, I guess I wouldn't take it. I have too many things. I already want to get rid of the magpies. So I don't want to be having the bone to ruin my consistency. Uh, in that case, it would be one of the two costs. And out of these three... Mud Turtle technically can block two turns, so it's strong. If I were to get Mycologists, I would want to fuse the Wolves, though. And that would be pretty good, making another one-shot with six attack. So I'll take the Wolf. Okay, fire up ahead. Let's see if I can remove something. Uh, well, I'm not removing the Pronghorn anymore. I guess it's the bell thing. I think blocking two turns with the mud turtle is still decent. The bell has uh, outlived its usefulness. Goodbye. Helped me out decently in the early game, and its time has come. Okay, so I don't want to go there, right? Don't want to pelt. Uh, it could be... The problem is if I get offered like choices that will ruin my uh, black goat drawn first turn, that could really screw me over. Which is why I'm considering going this way and getting a pelt. Pelt screw me over less. I could get decent cards here. If I hit the fire, what would I be trying to get rid of next? It would still be the mud turtle, so... I'll actually, for the first time, <laughs> take a pelt on purpose. Just so I don't get, like, really unlucky. If I got, like, unlucky and forced to ruin my draw, and I don't get this, because I really, really need this black goat on the turn one, or else I'm, like, in danger. Oh, bros. Get it plus one, although it's not really necessary. All this damage. I wish you could buy a knife in like every map, that'd be kind of nice. Wait, where, where are all the teeth? I have 20. I won't buy anything though. There they were. Okay, two fires. If I can get like two card removals, maybe. Okay, plus attack. Always pretty nice. Uh, I guess now I just try and buff the dire wolf so it's another one shot. Because with just plus one, I could guarantee the one shot. Uh... Then I also need to stop thinking in terms of one-shots, because it's no longer just a 0-6 Mole Man at the end, it's 1-8. So actually 8 damage is more important. So I mainly just want to draw my Magpies, so I still want to get rid of cards. So I will double buff this, and if it lives, it's 8 attack, if not, then it dies, and it dies. A little sad, but that's fine. Okay, more fires. I, hopefully I can remove more cards. And I guess I'll use the bone item before I forget and get stuck with it. Alright, turn one I get the uh, magpie again, that's nice. even buff the seven moose. It's true. I feel like getting rid of more cards so I can draw the magpie 
Okay, I'll take another magpie, yes. Is uh, my best choice here. Actually, I don't even- I was like thinking I need to get rid of the magpies, but I don't really have to. Alright, well it is another attack fire. Yeah, <laughs> three magpies. I think one-shotting the mole mans in that phase actually isn't... It's not super vital. So in that case, I'd still rather get rid of my mud turtle. Please. Okay, nice. Nice, things are lining up pretty nicely. Oh boy, more bones. <laughs> Another attack fire. Okay, this is making up for like the like five health fires in a row I got before. So now there's a decent argument for buffing the prong or the moose buck to make them eight damage. Um, I could try getting rid of a wolf. There's no more chance of my colleagueist to get rid of them anyways. So they're my next weakest. So I think I, if I'm doing one of these, I don't double them. I only put it once. And if I'm doing a wolf, I'll double it. And it's kind of a hard choice. I think since I have three magpies, basically I actually, all I want is to draw a magpie, I think. If I draw a magpie turn one, then I like always win. Or if I draw any of these. So all I want to do is minimize the chances of not drawing. If I get rid of a wolf, I'm guaranteed to draw like one of these other cards. In that case, I'll try and get rid of a wolf. If I don't get rid of it, it might be a bit... <laughs> okay, maybe it was the wrong choice. Oh, that's okay though. The, the deck is still pretty strong. This should be fine. And I can actually, at the end, I could now Sigil sacrifice the prong onto the 5 attack wolf, maybe? I already forgot what the rest of my deck was. I guess I'll get to that later. So here I can instantly phase and have two dams which will block, but that's not good because I don't have a good way to get through the grizzlies. So I'll pass, and then I can play Pronghorn on the next turn. Taking three is a bit scary, but... Oh, he's just playing a mole next turn, or whatever. Oh, there's the Ouroboros. Do it like this, get some more... Uh, cards in my hand. And this will... yeah, this will phase him. So boulder blocks for two turns, and all I need to do is uh, block for two turns. So I need these two... Uh, these will block for one turn, so I just need two cards, which is squirrel pelt. I already can block, so I don't have to worry about anything. Dang that bit my mule, yeah. Yeah, I'll use the bones before I forget. I can even draw, yeah, moose buck. Moose buck will block for two turns here. And like kill off stuff. Doesn't really matter. Oh, he even had the prong to deal three here. So. Whatever, I can draw anything, play my pelt. Kill off all this. Uh, I guess actually what I should have been thinking about is farming up the Ouroboros slightly more. Because at the end, the damage will be somewhat relevant. Maybe not that relevant, but... this, and I can summon it one more time, and then I can't kill it off unless I waste my item, which I won't. Or I guess I didn't need to do the last sacrifice, but okay. Alright. Alright, now just don't force me a terrible option here, please. Okay, well I do get the uh, final sigil sacrifice thing at the end. So, 
I'd probably put Cockroach on something. Or Cuckoo on something. Do I have really good options for it? If I draw Magpie, I already win, so I won't need to put Undying on Magpie. Um, Undying on the rest of my cards isn't important. Yeah, I would maybe just put it on like some random whatever card. Like the Moose. Or the Cuckoo. I guess the Cuckoo isn't... Yeah, the Cuckoo isn't as important because he starts with the two Momans, which are the scariest things on the board. So the Cuckoo would only block like two damage. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, I would just give Undying to... Uh, I'll just figure it out. I'll just grab this first and go up. Undying to the Pelt. That is exciting. He doesn't really have flying stuff, does he, actually? So that actually would be my best card to put on Dying on. That's actually 5 head, nice. Alright. I like never think of putting stuff on Pelt, especially because I normally don't bring them to the end like this. Okay. Okay, Rabbit Pelt, you're about to get a whole lot stronger. Genius. Alright. And now, now, uh, music stops. You put on, put on some jamming pirate music. I see. Carry on. Yo ho ho! Is it time again? A chance again to surf the tides with me fine hearties. Your next stop, Briny Deep. Alright. Let's see what the draw gives. Two magpies. Alright, well, sorry to say, Royal, but you're not winning this one. I'll draw Ouroboros, and I guess it doesn't really matter. I can just put this here and draw everything that I want. I don't have, like, some crazy other thing, right? Yeah. Ouroboros. Magpie, I'll draw this. This two here. This thing here. There we go. Tanties, yeah. Alright, <laughs> okay, and then so even if he cannons, like my guys, I mean, my Orbos will come back, so all I need to do is just draw squirrels and I'm fine. Music super jamming. Yar. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I forget this happens. I need to remember this uh, for runs that I don't have as good things. I always get two squirrels or two rabbits, and it might always get a mole. As for these other things, <laughs> wait—he just put down and killed his own, own mole. Wait, it doesn't insta kill. It only does ten damage. What? This whole time, I thought it was an insta kill, but it's actually only ten damage, which means it wouldn't even one shot my Orbos either. Weak, only 10 damage. Get on my level. You need at least 14. Alright, in that case, I'll just play a pack rat to um, get another item. And uh, it's already doomed for him. Nice try. It's the same as the explosion bots. Yeah, from Act 3, I guess. It's just another um, exploding thing. Hey, you, you've played well, but I've asked you this this. We get the jamming music. Not for long, sadly, but... Coming in like this. I won't allow you to destroy my table. <laughs> Super jammer. Would I even get Pronghorn? Yar. Oh wait, it moved everything over! Oh, it doesn't matter. No, the Moosebuck, after all it did for us. 
Oh wait, I shouldn't have done this. Oh well, whatever. I should have just saved it, uh, but I guess it doesn't matter because it's two more turns anyways. Boom. Can't even- can't even burn through my Ouroboros. Die. Music stops. Me hardies, me crew. They're all dead. Ah, boom. And finish him, Ouroboros. 280 ship is cool, yeah. I, I was already thinking like the moon felt really weak. This actually feels like a strong level where or like strong enough a vast G, strong enough um power level that like you have to worry about it. You have to like think about your um your deck to be able to make it through instead of being like, well basically if you made it through Leshy, you're going to make it through the moon. Because the two damage means that now all your stuff has like half as much turns on the board compared to the 140 and you have to deal twice as much so you essentially need four times as many resources in a sense to beat it than the moon heave ho indeed <laughs>